My name is Alessandra Di Maio and I'm a professor of uh, English literature and postcolonial studies at the University of Palermo in Italy, where I relocated after having spent several years in the United States. I'm a scholar of um, African diaspora studies, of migration and transnational studies, and of critical race theory. I'm interested in issues of social and racial justice, and one of my concerns is how human rights uh, intersect with the humanities. I've dedicated my life as a researcher, as an educator, and as a translator Anglophone African literature into Italian to uh, combine literature and the arts, the humanities and social sciences. I've extensively worked on uh, Black Italy and uh, on Black Europe in general. More specifically, I worked on the Black Mediterranean formulation that I coined and theorized years ago and that has become a burgeoning field of study. I have a joint FIAS IMERA Fellowship which I'm going to use to systematize and develop my research on the Black Mediterranean in a monograph. The goal of my study is to reconstruct uh, the plural narrative of the Black Mediterranean through the voices and the visions of those who experience it firsthand, or those who, no matter where they're from, have engaged with it creatively writers, musicians, filmmakers, digital artists, uh, cultural artivists. Sicily has been uh, a crucial site of the African diaspora since antiquity. Sicily, hence Italy, functions as a corridor into fortress Europe. I've been studying how this Mediterranean migratory junction, which according to the UN is the most problematic in the world, has contributed to transform the migratory global chessboard. Challenging notions of roots, belonging, legality, citizenship, nationality, calling for new connections across spaces, languages and cultural productions. What is clear is that global capitalism continues to exploit labor from Africa, perpetrating and perpetuating the power and balance between Africa and Europe and violation of human rights, reminding us that we are still in the wake of the slave trade. It's just a new chapter. The other side of the coin is that Afro-Mediterranean migrations produce cultural practices that shape global culture. This history has been mainly narrated by legal text and the mainstream media that have portrayed migrants collectively as narrated objects rather than as individual narrating subjects. I cannot think of uh, a better place than Imera to work on my book on the Black Mediterranean. I feel blessed to be working within such a cohort of fellows and the directors and the staff and everybody. And in a port city whose history, university, museums, association, public programming and even the streets are um, food for thought and nourishment for the soul.